Welcome! In front of me I have Garmin Vivo Active 4S and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. Before we start, uh, we can pair this watch with the Android phone in two ways. The first way is to do it through the setup process of the watch. So basically, if the watch is brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings. And the second way is to do it through the settings after the watch has been already set up because you can set up the watch without pairing it uh, to a phone. First, I'm gonna show you how to do it through the setup process and then I'm gonna show you how to do it through the settings. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, first thing we need to do is to turn on our watch. To do it, press and hold the upper button. Hold it until you see the Garmin logo on the screen, then release it and wait until the watch turns on. And if your watch is brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings, you will see the uh, hello message or the list of languages on the screen. As you can see, we have the hello message. So if you see it, tap on the screen and this will open the list of languages. And once you see the list of languages, you can scroll through it by swiping up and down on the screen. Now, find the language you would like to use on your watch, and once you find it, tap on it. As you can see now, we're being asked if we want to pair our watch with a phone. We want to do it, so we're gonna tap on the check mark, then tap it on it again, and the watch will enter the pairing mode. Looks like that. We have this animation on the screen. Once it does, we need to download and install the Garmin Connect application on our phone. So go to your phone, Make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, open the Play Store, tap on search and type in uh, Garmin Connect and then tap on search. Then you should see this, uh, she, uh, rather you should see this application on the list, uh, Garmin Connect, uh, tap on the install button and wait until the application is done installing. And after the application is done installing, you can tap on the open button to open it. In the app, you will see the login page. Basically, we need to log in into a Garmin account. If you don't have an account, you can tap on create account button right here and make a new one. I already have one, so I'm gonna tap on sign in, check the box, tap next, and login by entering the email and password. After you log in, you may see this pop up on the screen about the permission. You need to tap on allow access and tap on allow. And the app will start looking for the nearby devices and it should detect your uh, Vivo Active 4S. Once it does, tap on connect it, tap on allow, enter the code from the watch. Tap on OK. And here, tap on Next. Right here, we can set up a sleep time, basically. And you can set the time on which you go to bed and time on which you wake up. And this is useful if you want to use the Do Not Disturb mode during sleep. Basically, mute all of the notifications during sleep. So if you want to use this feature, tap on the bedtime. Change the bedtime by swiping up and down. Then the uh, wake time and tap on next and if you want to turn it on the do not disturb mode during sleep tap on yes if you don't, don't want to turn it on tap on no here select the preferred wrist tap next right here you can uh, send the da data from your app to your new device if you want to i'm just gonna select no and here we can edit the goals like steps uh, floors and stuff like that if you want to edit the goals, tap on edit goals. If you want to keep them as default or default goals, tap on keep, keep default goals. I'm gonna tap on edit. And here we can uh, change the values as you can see by tapping on the uh, boxes. First, you, you will need to tap on custom and then you can adjust the values to your liking. Same for the fluid and the intensity per week and the floors climbed. And once you're done, tap on next. Right here, we can allow the notification access. So basically, if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch, you need to allow this permission. If you don't care, you can skip it and keep it disabled. To allow it, tap on allow and tap on allow. Next, we have the location permission. This is useful if you want to uh, track your activities like running, cycling and stuff like that on the map. 
if you want to do it, tap on allow location access. If you don't care, you can skip it. If you tap on allow access, it might redirect you to this page. Basically, what you need to do is to tap on permissions, um, tap on the location and tap on allow and while using the app or allow all the time and then go back. Next, we have the calendar permission. This is useful if you want to uh, see and uh, manage the events on your calendar in the, on the watch, basically. So if you want to use this feature on the watch, allow the permission. If you don't care, you can tap on skip. Then we have the fog, fog, call log access. So if you want to see who's calling you on your phone and stuff like that, you need to allow this permission. If you don't care, you can deny it by tapping on skip. Next, we have the uh, phone call access. Same, if you want to see who's calling you on your phone, uh, then you need to allow the permission. If you don't care, you can tap on skip. Then we have the SMS. So for the messages, if you want to see them on your uh, watch, you need to allow the permission. If you don't care, you can skip. And once you're done with the permissions, you will see this page, tap on sync now. Then tap on finish. And here you can go through the like tutorial, how to use the watch. I'm just gonna tap on skip, then finish. And now you should see the uh, my day page and on it, you should see the icon of your watch at the top. Or if you tap on more uh, Garmin devices, you should see your watch right here on the list of devices. And you can tap on it to see the device page. So that's how you pair the watch through the uh, setup process. Now I'm gonna disconnect it from our phone and we're gonna do it through the settings. Okay, so to do it through the settings, you first need to enter the pairing mode on your watch. To do it, press and hold the lower button to open the menu, then scroll through the menu, tap on the settings icon, here find the option called the phone. And once you find it, tap on it and here scroll down and tap on pair phone and your watch will enter the pairing mode. And now you can download and install the app or if you have it installed already, you can open the app. Then uh, you have this plus button or you can tap on more Garmin devices and then tap on add device right here. The app should detect your watch. If you need to allow some permissions, allow them then tap on connect it, allow and basically do repeat the steps as we did before. So enter the code from the watch. Then next, set up the bedtime and tap on next. And select the preferred wrist, agree or disagree to send the data, edit the goals. And of course, if you install the app for the first time, you will need to deal with the permissions, like the location, notifications and stuff like that. Then tap on sync now. Tap on finish. I'm gonna skip the tutorial, finish. Okay, and as you can see, the watch is right here. We can tap on it to open the device page, which means that the watch is connected with our phone. And that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.